Hey, what's up everybody? There are a lot of bike racks out there on the market. I'm gonna be reviewing today this one that I came across, super affordable. I absolutely love it. It does have some drawbacks, but it certainly beats this, right? Stuffing your bikes in the back of your car, van, or any other Jimmy rig setup that you have. It seems like a good idea. Look at all this space back here. But of course, when you're driving around, uh, you have to have a pretty sophisticated securing system in order for this to actually work. So uh, away with that old system, I ordered this. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pick yourself up one of these. Uh, it does have, again, some drawbacks, but I think it's really, really worth the money. Um, super affordable. I think I paid like 50 or 60 bucks for this thing. It is a hitch-mounted bike rack that holds four bikes, but it also converts into two, uh, which is awesome, and it folds down. So let's take a look. This is it right out of the package. Uh, everything seems to be in pretty good condition. I'm just doing a little visual tour here, also picking up everything and just kind of judging the quality of the workmanship. Right off the bat, I noticed this system is pretty heavy. Each individual piece is solid metal, I assure you of that. So I'm just looking at the paint job, making sure there aren't any major chips or anything going on here. It does have hardware included, and this is a very hard rubber protective uh, little cushion. And of course, as I said, all your hardware, your bolts and your pin and whatnot. Now let's organize this stuff. The instructions that come with this kit are super easy to follow. First things first, to get this thing assembled, you'll take this hitch bar that it comes with the kit and you're gonna slide it into this other part here as shown and you're gonna align those holes. Next, you'll take the, the biggest bolt that, it, that comes with the kit and you're gonna slide that bolt through that forward most hole as you can see. And then take your nut and go ahead and tighten that up by hand. You will ratchet those down later, so don't worry about getting those tight at this point. Next, you're going to take this part and slide it into that second hole there, as you can see. Now, this pin will um, is not a permanent pin. It comes with a little clip on the end, and you're gonna. This will allow you to fold uh, once it's all assembled. Fold your bike rack down and up. Okay, so it goes on like that. Next up, you'll take the longest piece that comes with the kit. There's a little narrower edge toward the top, and you'll insert it into this little bracket here, as you can see. Be careful not to scratch the powder-coated painting, of course. That's uh, never a good idea, so use extreme caution. This is solid metal, as I mentioned. Next, we're going to take the two medium-sized bolts that comes with it, and you're going to attach those, put, slide those through the aligned holes, as you can see here in the video and then take those nuts and hands tighten them as well. So setup is really simple so far. No tools are required up until this point. I'll tell you which tools you'll need here in a second, so hang with me. Next up, we'll take this little curved piece. Now this allows you to put on two bikes as opposed to four. So this is basically the the piece that allows you to minus two bikes to put on two bikes, right? And I'll show you that here pretty soon. So we'll take the smallest, there's two small bolts that come with it, and you'll obviously insert those bolts um, in the two remaining holes. Now this is the extension for the bike rack. So with this piece installed, you now have the capacity to carry four bikes total. All right, so the tools you need from this point forward, you're going to need a couple or a few ratchets. And the instructions tell you very clearly what size ratchet you need for the uh, ratchet set. Obviously, if you have a wrench, you can use that, like a pipe wrench and whatnot. Uh, so pretty simple. And I'm going to give them a few bursts of WD-40, or in this case, some liquid silicone. I do not want these things seizing up. Ever. So I'm going to keep them lubricated right off the bat so that when I go to disassemble, deassemble this bike rack in the future, if I need to, uh, hopefully these things will slide right off. Certainly you can use some white grease or something instead. All right, so the next step, very carefully, you don't want to scratch that uh, coating, of course. You're going to take, you do need a pipe wrench or something to hold that bottom bolt. 
and then your ratchet set to tighten up that top bolt. If you don't hold that bottom bolt in place, of course, the unit will just spin, spin, spin. So kind of using this mechanism here, this technique, you can uh, tighten everything up. Now, you're going to not want to over tighten. They do have lock nuts on there, so that prevents the, the nuts from reversing off during vibration, during travel and whatnot. Um, so you be careful not to over tighten. You don't want to damage any part. So next, we're going to take the hitch. Notice I'm carrying it with one hand. It's pretty heavy, but it's doable with one hand, I assure you. Um, obviously, depending on your strength, I'm not super strong, but uh, get the job done here. And we'll insert it into a two inch receiver. Now you can buy a reducer if you have a smaller hitch here, like one and a quarter inch, uh, you can pick that up. I'll put a link in the description below for that too. I'm gonna be buying uh, one of those for my second uh, vehicle so I can switch this thing out. Next, we'll take the pin for the hitch. This does not come accompanied with the, uh, with the bike rack. You'll need to purchase that. Uh, I had one anyway for my, for my hitch. And, or you can buy one like this that locks allowing you to basically secure your bike rack so nobody steals it off of your hitch. Uh, this one's pretty simple, just has a little key and a cover. And I plan on using this. All right, so with the bike rack installed, this is what it looks like. I think it's pretty cool looking, pretty sleek. Uh, it's not, we've all seen those monstrous bike racks before. This one holds four bikes and it's so simple looking. I, I really like the way it looks. All right, so let's take that little pin out. This pin, as I mentioned, allows you to fold down the bike rack. Now, one potential downside here, it does not have an auto locking feature. In other words, as you watch, it will fold all the way down. In other words, it won't stop at a 45 degree angle. It will touch the ground like that. So you're gonna wanna have a soft pillow or something right there if you're folding it down without a bike on it. We're going to fold it down later with bikes on it so you can see what that looks like. A quick workaround here if you're interested in folding it down with a locking feature. take Press pause and take a look at this. Obviously you're going to want to have a nut on that bolt right there but you're basically going to take a really heavy duty chain and you're going to put that on there and you'll insert another bolt on the very right hand corner there of the screen. You can see that or the right, right hand edge. And as you fold it down, the chain will tighten and effectively lock this bike rack into a 45 degree position. That is the idea anyway. For now, I'm not gonna worry about that, but I just wanted to show you that little tip there. It's a super cheap workaround. All right, so we'll fold that back up and now let's take a look at the little plates that come with it. This allows you, of course, to rest your bikes on top of. So we'll unscrew this top plate and you could, if you're just hauling one bike, you could slide, conceptually slide your bike underneath like that without having to remove that top plate completely. Obviously the top plate does come off. All you have to do is unscrew this little piece. It's super easy to, to unscrew, by the way. I really liked how easy that was. And we've got a hard rubberized plastic. I can't tell the difference but it's soft enough and cushioned enough where it's gonna protect the bike. And that was something I was worried about when I ordered this thing. It looked like a very hard plastic, but it was slightly, slightly soft. Anyway, here's with one bike, a child's bike installed. This is an 18 inch bike on the furthest one. And next up, I'm gonna put an adult bike on there also for you. Notice how thick the bar is on that 18 inch bike and how thin the bar is on the adult brown bike there, okay? Everything to this point seems really sturdy. Next, I'm gonna put a second, this is a women's adult bike on, both full size. So we've got three bikes on total, and I don't notice any rubbing. That's, a, that's noticeable anyway. And the last one, we just ran out of bikes we don't have any more bikes to show you, but I did put this little kid's bike on there. It's a little Strider bike. I'll note out too, if your bike bar is super thick, it's not gonna fit on this particular bike rack. You'll have to find something else. Those were two examples that you saw right there. Why is that? Because this pl top plate has to go over it. And if that bar is on your bike is too thick, it's not gonna work very well, or it's not gonna work at all. So let's get these top plates back on for you so you can see what that looks like. We will screw those down and tighten them up for you. 
And you don't have to worry about things moving around. These things provide quite a grip. I feel like it's protected. The paint is protected on the vehicle or on the bikes themselves. By the way, I'll mention too, if you're worried about this top plate getting stolen or something, you can buy a little lock like this and slide that on there on both of those to keep that secure and uh, theft free. But this is what it looks like with four bikes on it. Again, I think it looks pretty clean. I've seen some bike racks that look that are just kind of piled on in any way and strapped on. And, you know, it, that just looks sloppy to me. So uh, next up, and the, one of the last steps uh, of assembly is popping in the reflector to do so. Uh, you just have to slide that in and it clicks into the two holes and we'll take off that plastic there too. All right, so let's convert this four bike rack into a two bike rack for you. To do so, we will remove that screw. You might need to get your tools back out. In fact, you will. And we're gonna remove this uh, piece right here. And that will, uh, by the way, we'll switch out the reflector, right, to be safe. And you might need a tool to eject that reflector, a couple of screwdrivers on both ends if you can't get them with your finger. But this is what it looks like to a two bike rack now. It is converted which is pretty cool, I think. We don't always have to have that four, uh, four bike rack piece installed. So this is how I kind of see us running around town. Like if I want to go bike riding with my kid, we're just going to use this. Okay, so back to, uh, I wanted to fold this out for you with all four bikes on it to show you what that was like. So you're going to need two people to do this. You have to be extremely careful with bikes on the back of this thing. Um, I have a friend here helping me out, and I'm going to take off this pole. You might need to, to wiggle it just a little bit. And my friend is going to be holding this back. Now, I didn't actually get this part on film, but it's heavy, okay? So you can't do this yourself, I'm betting. Um, there's a lot of weight there. You can lift it up yourself. You kind of got to get back under it. But look at all that. It kind of... Now, you can see the, the chain here idea is a pretty good idea if you can jimmy rig something like this. Now, I've not tested this, so this is on you. Uh, I have no idea if this is going to work, if it's safe or not. Now, conceptually, it seems like a good idea and one that I might try. Um, but again, test that out first. If you're interested in doing something like that, that could be a workaround. If you're not comfortable with that risk at all, then, of course, disregard this idea entirely. Uh, but that could be a possible solution with your bikes loaded up. If you have a strong chain system hooked up, uh, it could prevent that weight from falling all the way back. Uh, but the good news is, of course, we can lift up the uh, tailgate or the, the back trunk without problem. Now, here are the measurements. You can go back and click pause there if you wanted to see the measurements on this thing extended. Uh, don't quote me on this. You'll need to check that link in the description below for exact specs. Obviously, I don't have the reflector on there, but just to give you an idea of kind of where that is. All right, so that's about it. Overall, I'm very happy with this bike rack. It's convenient, classy, simple, and really cool. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thank you so much. For more do-it-yourself jobs and home product reviews, be sure to subscribe.